Performing professionally for over 22 years, RKG has collaborated in different capacities with the likes of Gettoflex, Doggy Slaughter, Jason Lee, Chinese Laundry, and Sherwin Winchester, to name a few. I think um, there's a perception of me whereas he's another radio guy singing, right? Which is the furthest from the truth. Um, I started it singing in, like, in school bazaars or how you may see in Trinidad on the block. Um, Bungie Garland actually um, was my neighbor, right? So at times we used to go out on the basketball court, on the block, um, the drags, well, the drag more than a remand. We'll do what, what we, 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 we call chant, like we will beat and start to chant and, you know, we would clash, like what they may call in Calypso extempo. Intentional about creating an album that would have global appeal and online accessibility, Fully Digital 1015 includes cross-continental collaborations, soca, reggaeton, afrobeats, and even verses in Swahili. The album is one what you may call um, world music. I want to say world music in the sense of I dabble in different genres of music. I don't limit myself as an artist. For me, my music is a fusion. You see people in Africa, places like Zimbabwe, Kenya, Nigeria, Congo, right, Gambia. These places um, actually enter my music. The world is accepting the music and that, is a, that, that, that keeps me going. Beyond the sound, what has amassed praise for RKG's Fully Digital 1015 is the messaging. There are a lot of conscious music on the album. When I say conscious, I'm talking about reality music, talking about life, talking about social issues, talking about things that people face on a day-to-day basis. Um, one fan said to me recently, one of my songs, I have a song called um, Things For My Mind, I have a song called Sin on the album. I have a song called Love Life, and a fan was saying that, you know, Love Life in particular is a song is like a prayer to him in the morning. Despite being shortlisted from thousands of worldwide submissions and considered alongside heavy hitters like Vibes Cartel, Spice and Shinsia, transforming a Grammy consideration into a Grammy nomination is harder than most understand. When the flowers posted that I was considered, everybody messaged me, RKG, how are we voting for you? How are we voting for you? It's not like a normal link where somebody can send and you just go and vote. It doesn't work like that, right? Now I am pleading with musicians, um, programmers, people, any, any, anyone that is into the arts and children and Tobago, it's very important that we become certified voters. And in Trinidad and Tobago, we, I don't want to call a number, but I'm telling you, we do have more than 40 voters. While encouraging local fans to become album as well as ticket buyers, RKG left words of encouragement for emerging artists. So your message is very, very, very important. You know what I mean? And never stop doing what you believe in, right? For instance, Quincy Jones passed away at 91 um, yesterday. I believe, and Quincy Jones did the Thriller album at the age of 50. At the age of 50, when you think somebody's going to retire, he created Michael Jackson's greatest album. So age is just a number. Not just another radio guy singing, RKG's fully digital 1015 album is his latest Grammy consideration following his first independent album, Caribbean Born, in 2017 and his 2022 single, Zungusha, in the global music performance category. I am Stacia Yewood for TDT News, urging you to live for local. Islands in the sun.